how do I know when it is time to get out of the relationship? What's up guys, this is Matt Cross from The 33 Secrets and I just want to do this quick coaching video to answer a question that I got from uh, one of my students who actually purchased my training course, The 33 Secrets to Dating Beautiful Women and he was successful at getting a hot girl. He got a girl who was, a, was an 8.5, very cute girl, tall, thin, uh, she's 10 years younger than him He's 34 and she's like 23 and just met this girl uh, thanks to my training course. This is his words, not mine. He says, I met this girl thanks to your training course. Uh, the guy's never dated a girl above a six in looks. So to suddenly jump from a six to an 8.5 is actually pretty good, right? It's doing pretty good. But now he's in a dilemma. He's like, hey man, I bought your training course. It worked. I got this really cute girl, this girl that I really, really was attracted to. She's got a pretty face. She's got green eyes. She's got brunette hair. All his friends were impressed and uh, even introduced her to his parents. And he was like, I really, really, really thought that this was the one. But now he emails me and he's like, hey man, I'm in this dilemma. How do I know when it's time to let go of this girl? And he's telling me that basically she's uh, draining him and, you know, not financially, but just mentally, spiritually, emotionally. She's like, yeah, this chick is like constantly just can't be happy. And he's like, what's going on? He's like, you know, everything started out fine, but I'm just not happy anymore. And no matter what I do, I don't think it's going to go back to the way it was in the beginning. He's like, whenever I'm with this chick and we're driving along in the car, He's like, he says he's having thoughts that he would be much happier if she just wasn't there. So he kind of answered his own question, right? But he's, he's kind of stuck because he doesn't know if he should just get rid of this chick because obviously he worked hard to get her. He bought my training course and he's like, I finally got the girl I wanted. Do I just let her go? That's his question, you know? How do I know when it's time to break up with her? How do I know when it's time to just cut my losses short? Well, what he said was, he was like, if this chick was not as good looking as she is, that he would have dumped her by now. He was like, if she was like a six, I would have got rid of her by now. He's like, I've only kept her around because her, you know, she's a pretty good looking girl. And it's like the best looking girl he's ever dated. So he, he's kind of in that dilemma. And uh, he's asked me, how do I know when it's time to leave? So uh, first off, let me preface, before I answer that question, let me preface this by saying that no matter how the girl looks, if you're already thinking in your head, how do I, how do I leave or should I leave, then chances are you're probably going to end up going down that road if it's already in your head. If you're already thinking like, man, this isn't going to work, if you stay with her, you're just delaying the inevitable. You know, and really his question is kind of, kind of coming more from a fear-based uh, position where he's like thinking, all right, I don't know if I should get rid of this girl because I don't know if I'm going to find another one. So first off, his mindset is in scarcity, right? Because if his mindset was in uh, abundance, he wouldn't be thinking that at all. He'd be like, I'm just going to get rid of this girl and go meet another one. When you have that abundance mindset and you know that uh, you could basically go out there and pick up a new girl you will be less likely to deal with your girlfriend's shit, no matter how hot she is. So he asked me, how do I know when it is time to get out of the relationship? And the simple answer to that is when the girl you're dating becomes more trouble than she's worth, okay? When the girl you're dating becomes more trouble than she's worth, and I have had to let go of a lot of very, very attractive women. I'm talking just hot girls you would cut your arm off to be with, to have children with, to marry. I have had to let go of so many girls when they became more trouble than they're worth, okay? When they just like tested a little too much, 
when they were just a little bit, they became a little bit too unreasonable where we couldn't even have a discussion anymore. Their answer to everything was just to, you know, do something destructive like go clubbing with their girlfriends or try to get validation from other men, men at work, men at her gym, men on the street. You know, girls who were like that, I let them go, okay? It's like, I, the way I look at it is, you know what? I enjoyed my time with her. It was fun while it lasted. And I'm just gonna appreciate the time we did spend together. I'm gonna value the times that I got to look at this beautiful face in the morning and uh, got to show off to my friends and whatnot. I'm going to value that. But hey, you know what? The future is bright and I'm not going to look back. Once a girl becomes more trouble than she's worth, time to let go of her. When you find yourself constantly walking on eggshells in that relationship, guess what? Time to let go of her, son. Time to let go of that chick. When you find yourself calling her names, if you find yourself even calling her a bitch and meaning it, time to let go of her. Once they start acting like an a-hole and they're being selfish and unfair, I no longer see their beauty. All I see now is like an ugliness to them and I don't want to be a part of that. Even as we go about our day and you know, tons of guys are checking them out and checking out their ass and like, whoo, and you know, and are mesmerized by them. I no longer, I know, I just can no longer appreciate their beauty like a stranger would. Even if it's the hottest girl you've ever dated, you know, you, you have to let her go. You have to pull yourself out of that scarcity mindset like, oh my gosh, am I ever gonna meet another hot young girl again? Of course you will. You just, you met her. You will do it again. Okay, you will do it again. Don't give yourself these game demons that a lot of guys do when they're in relationships. Like, oh my gosh, what if I can never do that? Repeat this again. What if I can never, you know, get the same level of girl again? No, don't, don't put these game demons in your head. And if the next girl you meet doesn't work out, go out and meet another one and another one until you meet the girl that you feel like you share the same values with, just the same, it is your responsibility as a man, right? Your responsibility as a man, as an alpha male, to be the man in the relationship and not let your girlfriend, your partner, your wife walk all over you or compromise with you. I don't know what's wrong with all these guys like are talking about how they need to compromise more with their girlfriend or their partner or their wives. These are the guys that get cheated on, that get dumped, that get divorced. You know, as I always say, the more you have to compromise in a relationship, the more likely it is you chose the wrong partner. Okay, so remember that. The more you need to compromise in your relationship, the more likely it is that you chose the wrong partner. Because if what you're doing half of the time in your relationship is compromising and trying to find middle ground, guess what? You chose the wrong partner and that relationship it's just not gonna be any fun. I don't wanna be in a relationship with somebody. I don't care if it's if it's just even a guy friend. If we're like constantly having to compromise on things, like why, why am I even friends with this dude? We don't have the same values. We don't get along. This isn't any fun. You're just torturing yourself. So don't put yourself in that kind of situation. Know when it's time to move on and understand that, you know what? There are three and a half billion other women on the planet Go meet one of them, okay? There's tons of them out there. So hopefully I answered your question. How do I know when it's time to get out? Uh, you will know it's time to get out when uh, that girl becomes more trouble than she's worth. And I don't care how hot she is. I don't care if she's the hottest girl that you've ever dated. Let her, be, let her become somebody else's problem. So that's all I have to say for this training video. Until next time, this is Matt Cross from The 33 Secrets, and I will see you in my next coaching video. Man, it is muggy out here. This is California. You don't want to come out here right now. <laughs>